What's up guys? Welcome back to another video guys, another day, another blessing, another me. You guys going to see it. You guys can see by the title. Guys, we have Mr. Beast in the building. Um, the title say we rescue kids living in a garbage bag dump. What? Are you kidding me? Oh man, don't tell me it's going to be a sad video guys. I do not like some people be in the struggle, but you got some people be in the struggle. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Make sure your post notification on, guys, so when I get around post one of your request videos, you will get the notification. Go ahead on, guys, and click the link in the, I mean, go down to the description and follow your girl on Instagram and all my rest of my social media accounts. Let's get into this video because rescuing kids is already touches to me because I love kids as well as I love my own and other people's kids. So I'm just a loving person and I ain't with this now. But I do like the fact that Mr. Beast gonna rescue these people, kids, whatever. Let's get it out. All right. Million people in India, this is their home. Hey, India. What the? What the? Oh my God, it's gonna be one of them videos, y'all. Mm. This is one of many dump sites throughout the country where people have to scour through literal mountains of trash, which often contain sharp objects, toxic waste, and causes many diseases that are often fatal. Only to make $3 a day, and because it is the country with the highest global population, India generates 1.3 billion pounds of trash every year. And the increasing wealth disparity between the rich and poor means that millions of people rely on sorting and selling this waste in order to simply survive. Forcing them to stay trapped in this cycle, this is simply devastating. I knew when we picked this project that this was going to be difficult, yeah. but I had no idea how heartbreaking it was going and to I be. I can just imagine when you actually dare in person, it's just more touching, man. Yeah, and witnessing this firsthand. This is just unlike anything I've ever seen. Being a new father and having to see children working in an environment like this just absolutely destroys me. And I don't really know how to describe it. It's not okay. As human beings, we can do better than to allow stuff like this to happen. But the dump sites aren't the only problem. A large amount of the population live in these urban slums. Motion Array Epic Holiday Sale. Get ten. I will be listening, y'all. <clears throat> People, I am I I am a very emotional person. Okay, especially on certain things. And I think when I start having kids, I start being very emotional because now I have my own kids. So it's like seeing talking about children being in that type of predicament it's crazy because i'd be thinking like what if what if my kid you know oh god the poverty and the living conditions here are extremely harsh people have been forced to build their houses right next to a railway track we just met a woman baharjan that lost her legs because she got hit by a train on a misty winter morning if I'm being honest, this is one of the most heart-wrenching videos we've ever had to make. And although this problem seems almost impossible to overcome, there is an organization making a difference. Meet Shafka. In a country like India, the way poor people are treated, they face a social taboo because they're dealing with dirt and garbage. So people consider them as a dirt and garbage. Shafkat is the managing director of Tiljala Shed, an organization started 36 years ago by his father, Alam Gir, who worked in these slums as a waste picker for many years. But he was one of the first and very few people who could read and write in the community. He became a school teacher and quickly realized how many opportunities opened up for him with literacy. And so in 1987, he made it his mission to put every vulnerable child in a classroom. Wow, that's amazing. Any human being, they have their birth rights to get right to work, right to food, right to education. Poverty has no time. They are struggling each and every day. Because they did not have education, young students going to crime. We have to bring those opportunities at the doorstep for these children. Listen, guys, if I had the money, just like Mr. Beast, 
or more or not even much as money as this man got, I would definitely travel around the world and help people with it. I would do exactly the things he does. Cars, home, houses, money, food, clothing, a shelter, whatever. One of these children is Akbar, a boy born into a society of waste. Growing up, he had no choice but to scavenge trash alongside his family just to earn enough money to live. That meant a life with no education, no security, and most sad of all, no prospects for a brighter future. Six months ago, roughly, his father passed away, and that created a lot of pressure on the family. Now his mother is on her own, and it is very, very difficult for the entire family now with all those children. Akbar didn't choose this life of child labor, of poverty, of pressure no child should ever have to endure. He has seen the schools from outside the gate, but never had a chance opportunity to go inside and sit in the classrooms. He was 12 years old, but he never went to school. He never knew uh, anything to write, read properly. Then what do you want to become? Engineer. Engineer? Mm -hmm. He says, I have, I have seen a lot of things on the roads. People car breaking down, people asking for help. Nobody comes for help. So I want to help these people. Yet, despite his circumstances, he never gave up on his dream of getting an education. So Shafka took Akbar off the streets and enrolled him into school. And in only two years, he's already caught up to the eighth grade, exactly where he should be. It's my hopes and dreams for him that he can now get an education, he can go to university, and he can become an engineer like he's always dreamed of. To make sure that you have every opportunity we're going to give your family some money so that you can buy food and you don't have to worry if you promise me that you're going to study hard i'm going to pay for you to go to school and i'm going to pay for you to go and get your engineering degree okay promise deal deal as yes, yes. but akbar is only one of the tens of thousands of children that tiljala shed has taken out of the waste dumps and given an education safe home and financial aid and Darren was about to meet all the kids at the school for the first time. I can't wait for you to experience that joy when the kids come running through that door because I can't put that into words. Turn your ideas into videos. Go to artlist.io and get everything you need all in one place. Some of the kids don't have on shoes. Shed has put 20,000 children on a path to a better life. That's one organization making a huge difference. And it's not just those 20,000 lives. It's the families of all of those 20,000 people who will be born into a society that's more open and gives them much more opportunity. When you open a school door, you close the jail door. Yeah. Education is the only way ahead, is the only way forward, which can only transform the society. In addition to the education that Tijala Shed is providing, they offer multiple extracurricular activities so that the kids can discover their passion. They have artistic talent hidden, so always we try to explore their talent. We have included sports, we have included taekwondo classes, we have included computer learning, guitar classes, piano classes, and a lot more. kids then showed Darren some of their science experiments. Oh, wow. I guess it did. It's 3D. Uh, how did you do that? Can you tell me how you made this? I think it's really important to recognize how innovative and resourceful these kids are. They have so little to work with, and yet they are putting the materials that are at their disposal over here to build it. these. That's real life surviving. And I think, honestly, y'all y'all comment, comment down below if you guys agree to this. I think a lot of us in America, um, I say some of us, a lot of us, some of us, however way you want to place it, a lot of us, would know how to survive if we, they were, were to place us in a desert or somewhere um, where these peoples are and just trying to survive because we are so used to nice grocery stores and things of that nature, you know, and we don't know how it feels to be placed into other people's shoes, you know. 
It's crazy. I, I just, if I had the money, I would just love to travel the world and help people just give back. I've probably been a gay way all my damn money, y'all. Experiments and educate themselves and learn. There is so much potential that is untapped in these kids that don't even get a chance at an education. Despite the tremendous impact Hill Jala Shed is making in their community, the problem is too large to solve alone. There is so much need for the community and so much struggle. We need to expand our operations. So and there is always very difficulty for organizations like us to mobilize resources. And to ensure that we can make a long-lasting stamp on this problem in India, we have decided to fund the entire program at Tilyala Shed for an entire year to help them expand to more areas in Kolkata and eventually throughout India. Because of each and every one of you, your viewership has helped get the support for this philanthropy, and we as a recipient can tell you we have received the support and the commitment from this philanthropy. Thanks so much for your blessing. Know why I do not I don't know why mr. beast is so huge and big on YouTube but I do know this man go around blessings people blessing people and I do know he gets it back but at the end of the day mostly he get it back from God so the only thing you got to do is have a heart to want to do right and do right and, and just do it, do it from your heart, and God is going to give it back tenfold. Blessings. But we have one more surprise. Shafkat told us that a lot of the kids were interested in computer learning, but the local library doesn't have enough computers to facilitate all the children. So we decided to help. We also wanted to do a little more, so we bought you some computers. Didn't finish high school? With a Career Plus program. There are hard days, there are challenges, but this is the job of the social activists to find the strategies, to find the ways to overcome them. That whatever difficulties and challenges come, that will be removed. But we're not done just yet. Earlier at the dump, Shafka introduced Darren to Moesh and Adir, two brothers who have been working as trash pickers since they were 13 years old. They start very early in the morning. So when they when they work when they work work for trash pickers, what what is they looking for? To be exact, what is they looking for? What what are you picking out the trash? Metal to try to uh, get money maybe somewhere and and make some money or something. So it's like a 12, 13 hours work, and they have very big families. <laughs> Mohesh told Darren how he has to sift through garbage for hours every day. And he does this with the and dream. I can guarantee you it smells. Ah. That eventually he will finally have enough to send his children to school. Five, six dollars. It's very difficult for our rack picker family to run in on just a small amount. Mohesh then invited Darren to his home to meet his family and learn more about the struggles he faces at home. It's unbearably hot in here, and it's not even the hottest part of the summer. It's actually the end of the winter, and it's already stifling hot in here. The heat makes it extremely challenging for Mohesh to prevent the food from spoiling, sometimes leaving him and Adir with no other choice but to work without eating, making it nearly impossible to keep up with this demanding work. You know, to see how hard you work so that you can take care of your family, we want to help you a little bit. We're going to buy you a fridge that works. What I want to do as well, when your child is a little older, we want to put them in a proper school. We'll pay for it, okay? <laughs> You're welcome, my brother. When Bees Philanthropy first started taking donations, we had not done a single international project, nor had we ever announced that we'd be doing any. But in the first week, the country that made the most donations to Bees Philanthropy was from India. This demonstrates the extraordinary kindness and generosity of the Indian people. And ever since then, it's been a high priority for me to come here with Peace Philanthropy and reciprocate the extraordinary generosity that they have shown to us. I want to give a massive shout out to the Smith Brother Family Foundation. When Darren found out that many of the kids in the program don't eat every day, he reached out to some old friends of his and they made a very generous contribution that will help us feed over 80... Just imagine a child going without eating. Do you know how much that would kill me? I, I love my kids so much for my kids to come to me and say, Mom, I'm hungry, and then it's like I, I don't have a way. I promise you I'm going to make a way. I don't care. Families for two years. Thank you guys for being awesome. Oh, oh my God. 
it was so hard to get through that video without crying, guys. Make sure y'all like, come, subscribe, and share this video. Make sure y'all post notification on, guys. And we need more people in the world like this that that's willing to go out and help when other people don't have. Some people cannot help um, the country they from, the things they have to go through. They just not, they just cannot help it. Um, so. I'm signing off this video, guys. Y'all stay safe and blessed and let God do the rest. Don't go nowhere, guys. Meet me at the next video. Make sure y'all post notification on because I upload daily. Yes, I upload daily because if you guys don't know, my channel was hacked maybe a month ago. So I'm trying to get back to the routine of posting every day. I have been for the last month. So y'all comment down below if y'all like to see more videos like this or post any requested reaction videos you would like to see me react to. I'm signing off. Y'all stay safe and blessed. And I got a little rest. Peace. Love y'all.